What's up guys? Welcome back to another CSS art tutorial. Today we are going to create this simple house. Let me call it house. It's just a simple house using HTML and CSS. So this is project number 95 in my CSS HTML 100 CSS projects. So I'll just say 95 and I'll call it simple CSS house. So inside this folder, I'll create a new file and I'll call it index.html. And then inside the index, I'll create HTML structure by pressing control exclamation mark, shift exclamation mark. And then I will give it the title of CSS house. All right. So. So within the body, I'll create a div and give it a class of house. And inside the div, I'll create three different divs. One will be roof, another one door, another one window. So those are the features of our house. So I'll say div, roof, and then I'll create another div and I'll give it a class door. And then the last one, which is window. So now this is our HTML. Now let's write the CSS. So just below the title, I'll create a style tag. So let's start with the class house. So I'll just say house. I'll give it a position of relative. I'll give it width of 200 and height of 200 pixels and height 200 pixels. And then I'll give it a background color. So I'll just say background 513. And then I'll give it margin of 100 pixels auto. And then I'll transform, translate Y, the Y axis, and then I move it to minus 50 pixels. So uh, let me open my work in Live Server. And then we code side by side. All right. So now this is what we have. So now let's let's tell the roof. So I'll say roof. I'll give it a width of zero. And also height, I'll give it zero. I'll give it a border left and then border right. So let's start with the border left. I'll give it 100 pixels. Let's give it a color. So let's say solid. But then the color is going to be transparent. And then same applies for the border right. I'll say 100 pixels, solid, transparent. Then I'll give it a border bottom. So for the bottom, we shall give it a color. So I'll say 100 pixels, solid. And then we give it a color, which I'm just going to say it's A5, 2A, 2A. So that's the color of the roof. And then you can see this is the roof. Now I am going to move it to the top. So I'll say top, uh, minus 100 pixels. And then left, zero. And then let's give it position. And I put it absolute. So now you can see that is our roof. Now we are left with the door and the window. So let's start with the door. So I'll say door. I'll start with the width as well. So I'll say width. Let's make it 50 pixels. And then the height, let's make it, let's make it longer times two. And I'll make the height 100 pixels. So let's give it a color. So I'll say background. I give it some random color over there. Five, four, three, two, one. So I'll position it absolute. So I'll say bottom, I'll give it zero. And then left, I'll give it 50%. So it can move to the left. Perfect. Now let us transform and translate it. I'll say transform. So we are translating X this time around. So I'll go to translate X and move it to negative 50%. Okay. So that's our door. Now let's style the window. So for the window, I'll say window class and I'll give it width, height and background color. Width of 50 pixels. I'll give it a height of also 50. So I'll give it a white background. So I'll say background white, which is triple F and I'll position it absolute. So I'll say position absolute and then top, I give it 50 pixels and then left I give it 20 pixels and then I'll give it a border so the border I'll give it two pixels and then let's make it solid and give it a black color which is triple zero so that's our window now let's do window after let's tell the pseudo class to say window after I'll give it content an empty string I'll give it width of 50 pixels. I'll give it a height of two pixels. I'll make the background black. That is triple zero. This is where we are at. I'll position it absolute and I'll say top 50%. Then I'll say left zero. Then I'll transform. So I'll translate Y, which is here and make it negative 50%. So it has created another layer of the window. So now let's do the window after. So we have like another square in the middle. So I'll go style window 
after. So I'll say content empty and then I'll say width of two pixels. Sorry, we are styling window after before or not after so this is window before this is window before mark that sorry for the error and then you can give it a height of 50 pixels so i'll give it a background of triple zero and i'll position it absolute i'll give it top of zero and then left 50 50 percent now you can see that is our window now last thing let's translate let's say transform transform we are translating x the first one was y so we are translating x and then we put it to negative 50 percent and guys that is basically our simple house using html and css um you can find this source code on my github repository 100 html css projects and this is project number 95 this is project number 95 you can practice your html and css with just this simple, so let's go through the code one more time. So you basically create an HTML file and then give it those div classes. And then after I write your CSS to style all those classes. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in another CSS art project. Thank you.